Hello guys, my name is Simo King. You are welcome back to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of any object in your video. I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to change the color of any object in your video. So right here in Premiere Pro, the first thing you're going to want to do is to import your video onto your timeline. So over here, I have a video of a guy dancing. So you'll notice that he is putting on a green shirt and his hair has a color that has a combination of white and some touch of green on it. So taking this to the beginning, the first thing you're going to want to do is to switch on your color tab over here and you want to add a Lumetri color to your clip over here. So what I have just done by adding that is that when I select the clip, Lumetri color is going to appear here in effects control section over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to move this clip to a portion where his hands are properly spread. Because what I'm trying to do is to change the color of this green. So I'm trying to get every aspect of this green. So I want him to properly spread his hand and I want to get, I want to be able to get this green in a very good way. So I'm going to move to a portion where I think I can get it properly. Okay, I think I've gotten it here. Let me see. Okay, I can go work with this. So the next thing to do is to move down to your HSL secondary. And now you, under your key, you select your key over here. And then you select this pen toucher here. Select this. And then you select the color you want to change. Next thing you will do is to select, check this, your color gray box over here. And you will notice some sections of the gray. You will notice that some sections of the green is appearing while some sections are not yet appearing. So you select this button once more and continue to do this until you have gotten a very reasonable amount of the green. So I'll take this back because what I'm trying to do is to get only the green and every other portion should remain gray. So the fact that I'm seeing these windows and all of this means that I've clicked something wrong. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Z. So I'll select this button and continue to pick on only the green. Select only the green portion. So you want to continue with this until you have gotten a very good amount of green. So what this will do for me is that it's going to get every section of the green. So as he's every shade of the green, so as he's dancing and moving around, I'm still going to get all the shades of the green, even though shadows will be popping up. Okay, so it looks like I really have a good portion here. So I'm going to adjust my HSL secondaries over here. So the H stands for hue, the S stands for saturation, and the L stands for luminance or the light. So the top arrow here stands for increasing or reducing the hue, the saturation, or the, the luminosity. Why the lower arrow here, what it does is that it feathers it, it makes it soft. So what I'm going to do, you're going to want to continue to play with this until you have gotten a really good amount of what you want. It's beginning to look like I don't even need to mess with this. All right, guys, so I think I've gotten a good portion of it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to deselect my color gray and I will increase the blurriness here so that it can make the effect smooth around this color green around here. So the next thing you're going to do is to increase this, take this arrow up. So I think this increase the lightness also of the green. So you can select this color wheel here and change the color. So if, for example, you change this from green to blue, you will notice that the color of the model here is already changing. So I can leave this from here, and you can see that we're already changing the color to any area we want it to be. So you can take it to any portion here. So you can see that we've changed it now to 
yellow. You can also increase the temperature and the temperature will change that also. You can also increase the tint, mess with the tint and change it to any color you like. You can also change, mess with the saturation. You can also play with the contrast. You can also change the contrast and change the saturation, the temperature and the tint. So if I hit this from the beginning now, you can see what this looks like. And if I should switch this off, you can see the previous color. If I switch it on, you can see the new color. Another thing you will notice is that we did not change any other color in the background. The color is only on his outfit and it's not even changing the color of his hair, his face or his looks. Everything looks exactly the same way and, we're only, and we only changed the color of his outfit, which was exactly what we were trying to do. And this is a quick way of changing the color of any object in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this tutorial to the end. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section.